goblin this morning, right here. Not where we expect the one to be, but he's even closer it seems. It's gobbling good. I'm gonna try to make a move on him. He's fired up. Let's see if he's willing to play the game. Set up, got set up under a turkey. I don't know if he saw us or, or what. He was he was on our side of the river, according to Camden. I thought he was on the other side. He flew down on that side, but uh, he didn't seem spooked. He was he was gobbling good. He was answering us, and even after he got on the ground. But he's heading in the other direction. But there's another one that was gobbling behind us. It could be that those two were going to meet up. So uh, we're heading that way now.
still here in Turkey's Gobble. But it's, it's those that were away from us earlier this morning. And they made their way. There's a field on a piece of, uh, on another property. And after they come down from the roost, that's where they like to go. So we're in here in the swamp a little bit. We'll see what happens. There's a flock of them in there. I don't think we have any chance. Of course, call him away, but as long as he's gone, well, we're going that way, I guess. Still chasing the gobble here. Turkeys we're up in this field. And we came and sat on the edge of it. Across this creek. Just sat down a little, little piece back, hoping, just hoping to hear, hear them up there. We heard one gobble. But now, while we were sitting there, we heard a, we heard a turkey gobble away from the field. And our choice is either sit there and wait and see what happens, see if the turkeys make their way back in his bottom. As the sun gets on up, it's pretty cloudy today though. Or we do the running gun thing and go on head towards that turkey. So we're chasing the gobble. Turkey was gobbling good on his own here. Three or four times, four or five times maybe. Back towards the field, but I don't think he's at the field, so maybe he's making his way back in his bottom. So we just, we were set up on another one. We thought he was about a hundred yards away when the last time he gobbled. And we just sat down. He never came in. And then this one over here started gobbling, so see what happens. Trying to give a recap of what happened this morning. <clears throat> Heard a turkey gobble right off the roost. It sounded like he was roosting right on the river. We heard another one in the meantime. Uh, where Bish killed a turkey on open day a couple days ago in that general area. And maybe we should have gone in there instead of taking the chance. The turkey pitching down the other side of the river, but he was close. That's what we were just talking about here before we turned the camera on. He was close and gobbling hard. That's real hard not to go to that one. So we did. We were in there tight with him, and, and you know, you can hear the rattle in his chest. I thought he was just over the, on the other side of the river, hoping he'd pitch down on our side. Camden's convinced he was on our side. But he was gobbling good. We up to him a couple times. We try not to overdo it, but he answered us good. Gobbling, just gobbling good in the tree. And once he hit the ground, he answered us a time or two. 
But in the meantime, the other turkeys was answering us behind us. Still gobbling good. And the two turkeys, the one behind us and the one that we were under, were going towards each other, even though they were on the different sides of the river. So we went and made a play on those turkeys. Uh, the other, the ones behind us. There's a field, I think I mentioned it, given one of the updates, there's a field that the turkeys go to often right off the roost. And we heard a turkey gobbling up there is what it sounded like. And we set up, just, just seeing how far they were from the field, if we could hear them in the field maybe. Uh, we sat up there and he upped a little bit just to mainly just to get a pinpoint on the location and we heard one back in the direction of where that turkey went this morning that we were up under but he was definitely on our side of the river so we chased the gobble again we got in there with him Yelp, he answered. And we thought, where can we get to? It was kind of open. Where can we get to, to where he'd have to maybe come around something? Or Anyway, while we were sitting there discussing it, he fired off right in front of us at about 100 yards. We sat down right where we were. Never heard another peep from him, never saw the turkey, anything. In the meantime, the turkey back towards the field starts hammering, just gobbling on his own. We yelped to him. He never answered after that, but four or five times just on his own up there. So, anyway, messed around for a little bit longer and decided to head on out. So, should I try to yelp? That was that way. That's a woodpecker. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. Tree. Da -da -da -da. Uh -oh. Are you sure? Yeah, I thought so too. Probably roosted at the camp. That's that field. Hey, let's get in between them. That's, it may be the same kind of deal that happened the other day. Get straight in there. That was that way. That was that way, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It's definitely towards the field. I think he's in it. I think he's in the field. What is that? I have no clue. Right here. I have no clue. I kind of think maybe we should just go set up. On that knoll or something? Or right near something? I don't know. I don't see this one flying the river, but also there was one over here the other morning. We don't know. He may have been the one over the river. That was that, that was way. That way. That was For that. sure. Yeah. I don't think that was in the field though. That was that across the river. Hey, they're answering each other. <clears throat> what do you think? Right here and see what happens. Maybe they'll... Across the river. I think our best bet is just to get in between them somewhere, but we don't want to go too far that way. Across the river. I don't know if he's answering you or that owl.
He's... Did that sound closer to you? I don't know if he's facing us or if it was closer, but... And we're in between two goblin turkeys, which is a wonderful thing. But one's a good ways away from us this way, we think might be in a field. It's hard to pull him out of that field. We've got another one goblin really good right here. But he's a, it sounds like he's across the river. I'm 99% sure he is. So it seems like a little chance of getting him to pitch that thing. I think that's the one we messed with the other morning that pitched down. He was on our side, it pitched down the other side of the river. He sure is gobbling that. He's gobbling good, but... We've had one pitch a river before. It's a little thinner than this, this river, but... It can happen. Not by much, though. There's a lot of water around here, and they're, they're used to crossing it. It just... Depends on the day, depends on the bird. There's two, maybe three. I don't know if they're in here. There's a four wheeler running right here. I wouldn't think they're going to be getting that way. I hate to keep yelping, but. I think you're going to have to, though. He got one, yeah. He sure enough. What we do now? That one over there just gobbled too, I think. I don't think that one's gobbling either. This one is for sure. There you guys again. And that one. We got turkeys gobbling everywhere. We're kind of afraid to make a move, but there's also a bunch of racket. You can hear the highway out here where the, you probably hear that truck where the highway loops around on part of this, near part of this property. There's some work going on over there. Four wheeler, sound like a dump truck. I don't know. So we're listening in between all that. But turkeys are causing cost the river, right? Good on both sides. I heard something, I don't know what it was. I just heard that one over here. That was, that was definitely, that was it. Yeah. It's so hard to make a decision right here because he's gobbling good, but it doesn't seem like, I mean, it just seems real doubtful he's gonna wanna pitch that river. And we, but we don't wanna get too far in case he did. And he's up here. It's hard to, just as hard to get him out of the field, it seems, especially if there's a flock of them over there. But they're used to going in this, in this strand, in this swamp um, that's between us and the field. So we're kind of afraid to go either direction. It's going to be good right there in the field. That was closer across the river, though. Sound like it just moved up a little bit. Yeah, I thought he was closer too. I don't think either of these turkeys have really moved. So we've been standing here between these two turkeys and one, the one across the river we hadn't heard in a few minutes. We think a boat came by, so it may mess him up. We really don't know. We haven't heard him, but in the meantime, we think we heard another one here, so there might be two in this direction. We're trying to uh, make up our minds which way to go. Is that that way? We have decided to make our way in the direction of the turkeys in the field up here. Oh. 
think that boat probably pushed that turkey back further away from us. So, and these ones over here are still gobbling pretty good. So we're gonna try to make our way that way. Who knows? May turn out, may not. That's all we got going for us right now. So.